Hello, y'all. Happy Saturday. It is 9-11. See y'all over social media, all big LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Everyone is saying, you remember the poem from 9-11, which I agree with. I was in high school when that happened. I remember getting called out. Like, the whole school went on. Shut down for a couple hours trying to figure out what's going on. I think I was in my science class or something. Actually, I might have been 8th grade. Either 8th or 9th grade, I don't remember. But, I said that everyone's preaching about don't forget, remember the following, freedom is not free, all this stuff. Which I get it, show your support. It's a national, it's a national tragedy that struck America. But don't do it for trying to play the sympathy card. These people like you. If you mean it, mean it. But so many people are just, they're saying because they feel like that's the thing to say. And I, I've noticed that my whole life. People join the crowd when something bad or tragic happens. Oh, they're behind it, but you don't see them moving in any sort of direction to try to help the issue. They just talk about it. So anything else in life, man. People talk a great game. Very few people are backing it up or taking action to make stuff happen. So like I said I'm not trying to knock you in for remembering 9-11 and showing your support, but the point is is don't knock stuff. Don't just join the crowd and because you think it's the thing to do at the time you do it. That goes with everything in life. There's a great saying I heard a long time ago. I think I heard it when I first got into investing. If everybody else is buying it, stay away from it. Like, when everyone is selling, buy. I think Warren Buffett said it on the It's a very good concept. If everybody else is doing something, don't do it. That's one of the reasons I don't own a BMW. I didn't buy a BMW. Because everyone and their mother owns a BMW. Which, hey, they're awesome cars. I've test drove them. I've only bought one a couple times. But everybody else is doing it, so... I choose not to do it. <sighs> but that's just that's my perspective in life. If everybody else is doing something, I usually do the complete opposite. Why? Because I don't want to be accused of following the crowd and I like doing my own thing. Kind of like I'm listening to the um, Bigger Pockets show, number show 35, because I started from the beginning. The lady signed my house, she quit her job and got into real estate. This lady was a nomad. She used to work a typical nine to five for a few years. She stayed up, then she just traveled the world till she run the only, and then she came back to America and bought a triplex in um, Atlanta, Georgia. Lives in one unit, rents out the other two, and she keeps on acquiring more rentals because that provides positive cash flow monthly for her, so she doesn't have to have a job. Sounds a lot like what I'm trying to do. <sighs> So, my issue is, is being, I, I don't have a job. I haven't, since the Army, I really haven't had a job. I haven't had a continuous income for two years, so I can't show the same income stream for two years in a row, so I can't get traditional financing. You gotta show 24 months of continuous income, which is stupid. But I understand they are covering their tails. And I don't want to go to the church store anyways. Everybody else is getting a. FHA loan? I don't want to. I'll do it. I'll probably admit, find out how to do it. So anyways, y'all, I'm back at the apartment. Time to shower. Finishing my Chipotle chicken bowl. So, again, if you think I'm putting out some good information or content, subscribe to my channel. If not, hey, feel free to delete me. I'll be great. Have a wonderful day and take care. And stop being like everybody else. Be yourself.